Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, a little bit about me is I homeschool two girls. I have a nine-year-old going into fourth grade and a three-year-old who is turning four at the end of the summer and will be starting her first year of preschool with us. But today's video is a haul, a back to school haul. I went to Target yesterday and I took my fourth grader so she could pick out some items that we needed for this next, uh, for this upcoming school year. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the few things that I picked up for her and um, I think there might be a, a mix of things for my preschooler as well. So first item I picked up was for my preschooler. It's this pink pencil box. I love these boxes. Both girls had one this last year. My oldest got a pink one, but my youngest got a blue one uh, because they ran out of these last year. So I went ahead and just grabbed one for her to replace the blue one because both my girls are pink girls. So I wanted them both to have a pink one and I think she'll really like that. The next item, actually this next item, is also for my preschooler, are these ultra clean washable markers in the bright colors. I had the classic colors last year for her, and she continuously took out the black, brown, and gray and said these are ugly colors and I don't want them. So, and she's actually lost a lot of the washable colors that we had. I'm not sure where they went. So I went ahead and grabbed this. There is, there are no black, gray, or icky colors in here. So she will be happy to have those and they're washable, which is great for her. Next item is for me. I uh, picked up these Sharpie highlighters. I've always used the Bic highlighters, but this year I wanted to try something different. Um, my daughter picked out this glittery ruler. So we have plenty of rulers, but a lot of them are, um, we have the slap wrist one and like a foldable one. They don't really work that well. So I wanted just a plain old ruler. I picked up a stapler because I like all I have are the travel like the little small mini ones and then I do have a smaller one smaller than this but bigger than the travel ones or small bigger than the mini ones um, but I have those staplers are always breaking on me and not working very well so I went ahead and just invested in a nicer one um, I picked up two sets of these binder dividers so this one has some fun colors on it. And then this one I picked up for myself, um, for my binder. So this one's for my for my uh, fourth grader. She is, has, she is going to be using a binder this year, or I want to try and use a binder this year. So I've let her pick out some binder dividers. And then I bought these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them yet or not for myself. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed them. I can always return them if I end up not using them. Picked up some whiteout because I have been in need of some. Uh, some super tip markers for some art projects we have. Picked up the big size. They had uh, this little section of back to school items. Uh, I guess maybe it's called More Than Magic. That's where the ruler came from. I picked up little erasers. So this one is a lemon one. I have a strawberry one and a kiwi. So these are actually going to be going into our prize box. These I thought were super cute so I went ahead and grabbed those and erasers always seem to be a fun little reward for my girls. And then um, this is from the More Than Magic line again. My daughter found this little, let's see if I can show it, um, little pin that has a kaleidoscope type thing. Is that what it's called? So. She went ahead and grabbed that. I let her pick one fun thing out for herself. So that was hers. And then I let her pick out her two notebooks. She picked out a ton of the notebooks that she loved from the More Than Magic line, but uh, they weren't wide ruled. They were college ruled. So unfortunately I made her put them back and then she went back and picked out these. So a Lisa Frank uh, notebook, which is really cute. And then this Make Waves mermaid one. And so these will be her um, IEW notebooks. She's gonna be doing IEW again this year. And then I picked up some glue wall, just Elmer's glue wall for some art projects. The last items I picked up were from the Dollar Spot. Uh, the first items I picked up were these eight blank books and I found them in colored as well. I hope to use these a little bit more this year uh, for writing stories. The other items I picked up from the dollar spot. I picked up this pocket chart. 
I have been wanting to pick up one of these for a while. Every time I have seen them at the dollar spot, uh, they either had this and not the inserts, or they had the inserts and not this. So I've never bought them because I didn't want to buy one and not have the other items. I happened to be there the day that they were stocking up all these things, and so I was able to grab these. So I grabbed the pocket chart. I just grabbed one. We're going to try that out. Um, I do have the, the cards with the lines. I don't know if you can see that. You know what that is. The lines, and I also picked up these, um, what are they, schedule cards. So we are going to try out a different thing, different things with this pocket chart and see what works. I do like the schedule cards and I like that the girls can help me schedule out our day um, or just be able to see what we are doing in that day. So that will be nice. And then I picked up these reward certificates. Uh, my nine-year-old, nine she responded pretty well with reward certificates last year. So I wanted to go ahead and get this and reward her for reading books. Uh, I'm trying to find ways to get her to read. Uh, she's not a big reader. She can read very well now, but she's not uh, motivated to read on her own. So I thought if I have this and she keeps tracks of books she reads, um, for maybe I'll reward her for the first chapter book she finishes, then five books, then ten books, or whatever. And um, every time she gets a reward, I'll give her a super buck, which is our um, reward system that we have. I'll go ahead and link that video down below if you are interested in seeing that. So. Um, I I think this will work and I think it'll work for my preschoolers as well. So I'll just find different ways to reward them and give them certificates. I won't reward them too many obviously so it doesn't lose its uh, fun factor. But I thought that will be a fun thing to have for rewarding. And then I picked up these wood clips. So they're alphabet wood clips. These are for my preschooler. And I took these out of the package but they have these fun um, shape magnets. So there's a square, a heart, a hexagon, a star, triangle, circle. So they had a bunch of shapes and so we will be using those just to learn more of our shapes or learn matching because there's two of each and the colors and all that. So those will be fun for my preschooler. So that is all I have for you today for this homeschool or for this Target back to school haul. Uh, they always have such fun stuff at Target and I love going back to school shopping. I was kind of bummed that we actually had a lot of stuff because I wanted to pick up some new things. Um, some just, there were fun pencils, but I already have tons of pencils so I didn't need to buy just colored ones just for the heck of it. So um, yeah, but Target is, they have lots of good stuff right now. That is it, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, I have another video coming up hopefully this Thursday. If not, it will be up next Sunday. So that is gonna be my schedule. I'm hoping to upload every single Sunday and periodically on Thursdays. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video, hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Have a great week.